So we're here today at Capilano University Physics Department with Derek, Dr. Derek Howell uh, to talk about surface tension. Thanks, Bert. Uh, surface tension is one of those great things you can use just to simply amaze your friends. Uh, it may seem like magic at first, but really there's nothing mo here more than just some simple physics. Uh, so I have a couple ordinary paper clips here. Uh, I'm going to pick one at random just so you know, <laughs> no, we're not we'll, uh, doing we'll it. Tru we'll trust you. All right, so a normal just paper clip, drop it in water, it's going to sink. Made out of metal, metal is higher density than water, so of course it's going to sink. But if you're very careful and you place it just right, Look it can at that. actually float. Look at that. So the reason this paper clip is floating, where it should be sinking, is due to surface tension. Um, let's, let's define surface tension. Uh, so surface tension, the way we're looking at it here is water is a polar molecule. It means the adjacent molecules of water are somewhat attracted to each other due to their nature. And that tension, that force between them attracting each other, is what's holding that paper clip up. That paper clip would have to slip between adjacent molecules of water, but that attractive force between them, cohesion, is actually supporting it up. So if you look closely, you'll actually see the water dips a little bit around the edge of the paper clip there, saying it's deformed, but it's still supporting the paper clip up. So I'm guessing that different materials will have different tension. Yes. Well, in fact, water itself can change quite a bit. It's cold water, hot water, the surface tension is quite different. This is, in fact, why we prefer to use hot water, not just to keep our hands warm while we're washing dishes, but it actually cleans better because the surface tension is lower. Also, uh, soap has a great job of lowering the surface tension and this helps wet an object as it were to say because instead of repelling water, the water will actually seep through and get something wet. So just a little tiny drop and Point. we see the surface <laughs> tension decreases, that soap spreads out and the paper clip. And any examples other than paper clips? Ducks. Ducks. Ducks will float a lot due to surface tension. I so thought it was just the feathers and the air is holding them up. Well, if you get rid of the uh, surface tension, that water will seep through the feathers, that air will disappear, 